Hello students, welcome to Pathfinder problem series on this uh, J physics tube channel, right? So in this question, this rod is being uh, balanced using this uh, load of mass M and uh, there is no friction. All the conditions are stated in the question itself, right? So you can pause here if you want to give this question a try. And if you want to see the solution, let's uh, begin with the solution itself, right? So first of all, in the in any kind of uh, rotational motion or any kind of mechanics problem, we should proceed with the uh, free body diagram of the uh, of the bodies that are concerned for this uh, motion or for any kind of problem, right? So we will first begin with the free body diagram. So uh, I've made the free body diagram of uh, this block as well as this rod, right? So let's begin with the block. There is mg force acting and tension force acting. And since this rod is in equilibrium, this block must be in equilibrium, right? So the tension force will be equal to mg, right? And since there is no friction, the tension will remain same along this string. So at this point here also, the tension is equal to mg, right? So what are the forces that are acting on this rod? One, of course, is the mg force that is basically equal to 100 Newton in uh, at the center of mass. Uh, another force is the normal reaction here at the contact point and another force will be tension that is uh, acting along the direction of a stick. I have just extrapolated this line, although this may na not look uh, in the, uh, the same line, but uh, for the sake of space, I had to make this line a bit tilted, right? So uh, this line is basically the tension line and also you can see the angles here, right? So if this angle is 30, the rod is making 30. Of course, the perpendicular to the rod will be making uh, same angle 30 degree with the vertical direction, right? And I have taken the angle made by this tension force with the vertical direction as alpha. So this is the angle I don't know yet, right? And also if you see here in this triangle, I've made a construction and I've uh, shown these two angles to be equal to to each other right and these angles are beta how can i say that these angles should be uh, equal you can also uh, pause here and uh, give yourself a try that's a very small property right so you can prove here these two triangles will be the congruent triangle why because this one side is equal to radius the other side is common and the other angle here is actually equal to 90 degree right so congruent triangle so these two angles also must be equal to same so let that angle be beta right what now so first of all let's uh, solve for the also why did i make all these forces line to uh, come from the same point because i know that this rod is in rotational equilibrium. So all the forces acting on this rod must be concurrent, right? So they must be meeting somewhere. So this is the point here. So if I make the free body diagram, uh, assuming this rod to be a point here for the condition of translational equilibrium, these are the three forces acting, right? So tension making alpha angle with the vertical normal and the mg force, right? So if I just uh, write the condition or equations for the translational equilibrium, these uh, two will be the equation, this one in the vertical direction, this one in the horizontal direction. Using these two, I'll get this equation, right? So now what? So now let's uh, do some geometry here, right? So what I'm writing here, you should first try to pause and guess uh, where this equation is coming from, right? So this equation is actually coming from uh, these two right angle triangles, this one and this one, right? So in these two right angle triangles, the base is same, right? So I've basically equated base from both the triangles, right? So in this uh, right angle triangle, uh, this base will be equal to this height that is R by root two into cot of angle of this part here. And this angle will be basically total alpha minus 30, right? So R by root two uh, cot this much. And this length will be equal to basically this total length that is going to be equal to L by 2 since this is equal to L by 2. So L by 2 minus R by root 2 into cot of this angle that is 30 degree, cot of 30 degree. So we are equating just this side, right? So this is my equation number 4. Now let's uh, go to uh, some other geometry, right? So I'm writing one part here that tan beta is going to be equal to 1 by root 2. How? In this right angle triangle, you can see that tan beta is going to be equal to this height by this uh, radius, right? 
so r by root 2 divided by r that is going to be 1 by root 2 also this uh, interesting part is here alpha you should try to get uh, from your own side uh, whether you can get it alpha is going to be equal to 180 minus 2 beta minus 60 how can we uh, get that right so if uh, you are not able to get the same result you can see here that uh, uh, that this angle total angle is going to be equal to 2 beta this angle is 90 this angle is 90 and the total internal angle are going to be 360 so this part this total angle here is actually going to be equal to 180 minus 2 beta right and if we just subtract if we just subtract this much if i make a vertical line here passing through this line here so this total angle since you can see here that this is 30 degree angle uh, and if i just extend this line here this will be 90 so of course this angle will be 60 so i'm just subtracting uh, 60 degree that means this part of the angle uh, let me show you the po pointer here this part of the angle that is 60 degree from this total angle right so i'll be getting this angle and this is nothing but equal to alpha right so this is the angle made by the tension with the vertical right so from here i can manipulate and write alpha minus 30 will be equal to 90 minus 2 beta why i am doing this uh, one you can see in equation number 4 i'm actually getting tan of alpha minus 30 right so i uh, should be using this so that will actually become this part will become tan of 90 minus 2 beta that will become tan 2 beta right so if i know the tan beta i can uh, surely get this right and i can also get this cos 2 beta why i am uh, using this cos 2 beta you can guess it from here because we had to determine the mass part here right so if you do some simple maths here some manipulation here if i just uh, divide from both the side in equation number 2 by 2 you can see here this uh, root 3 by 2 can be written as sin of 60 degree or simply cos of 30 degree so sin alpha cos 30 uh, minus sin 30 cos alpha that will become basically sin of alpha minus 30 and sin of alpha minus 30 will become basically sin 90 minus 2 beta that will become cos 2 beta right so i had to determine this also so using this uh, uh, you can make a triangle and determine this value and all other things are you know very simple you have to just put uh, the values in the equation number 3 and you'll get the value of mass also using the equation number 4 and you'll just have to put the value of tan 2 beta here you can very well determine the value of l is to r that is going to be this much right so if you have uh, like this uh, video please uh, like and uh, share with your friends thank you